Good morning, friends. Let us hold fast to what is good. And thank you for taking time to learn a bit about my work. I'm Jan Burleson, and I came to formal art education as I was moving out of my life career as a therapist. Taking a look back, it is easy to see that honoring personal history and transforming the old into a pictorial new have been prevalent themes in my work as have rhythms that speak of the unity of fragility and stability. The work of life contains much wear and tear, suffering as well as joy, and no one is exempt from sorrow. The art of therapy can be like a search for light in a dark tunnel, a holding fast to what is good while rebuilding a new structure from what may seem like the rubble of life. The seeds of my current paintings were sown a few weeks into the pandemic when most of life felt tra uh, tragic and fragile. On a day that my emotions spilled out all over, right out on my precious five-year-old granddaughter, whose fault, of course, it was not. So I set out on an apology in art form, trying to explain how things can pile up out of our awareness and emerge in odd ways and wrong places which led to making collages from snips of piles of the New Yorker magazine, collections of pieces of cultural events that had dramatically ceased, thinking about how the world had been shattered. The pieces were then reconstructed into formally arranged stacks that reference brokenness and rebuilding. I then made paintings of various color arrangements, the energy a little jazzy with a veiled mystique, they are vivid and rhythmic abstracts, and they are philosophies in their, with their own identities, and they enliven a room. I titled them Things Pile Up. It was healing, and they have been said to bring joy and hope to people who spend a little time with them, and to remind us that adversity can shape and unite us. My paintings have been juried in two exhibits throughout our East Tennessee region, in Chattanooga in the AVA members juried shows and in the Chattanooga art space shows at the airport, in Slocum Gallery's positive negative exhibits, in Knoxville Arts and Cultural Alliance's national juried and arts in the airport, and in their first solo show at Knoxville's Emporium in 2022. As I continue to develop my work, I plan to grow public and patron awareness both online and in real life, as well as exhibit opportunities, both solo and group. I'll be creating alliances with other artists and exploring gallery and interior design representation. And I am pleased to announce an upcoming show along with three artists I curated together for an exhibit of works with a similar vibe. The opening will be November's first Friday the 3rd and we would love for you to attend and experience our art in unison. I hope you find meaning in my paintings. I look forward to seeing them purchased and placed in homes, in restaurants, in businesses, and other spaces where people gather and seek inspiration in your home or in that of a friend or a colleague. Please join me in expanding awareness of my work. I invite you to enjoy my website, sign up for my newsletter, and share with others. Assist me in making connections with other artists, with gallerists, and with interior designers and media entrepreneurs. Doing so will help me achieve increased awareness of my work and its life in the world through personal acquisitions. Become a patron. Find the right spot for one of my paintings. I am open to commissions regarding content and color palette. And thank you for taking time to soak in awareness of my work. And always may you be well.